Jamal Khashoggi case, Saudis defy threats over missing writer. Saudi Arabia rejects political and economic threats over missing journalist Jamal Khashoggi, a source quoted by state news agency SPA says. Saudi Arabia would respond to any punitive action with a bigger one, the unnamed senior source said. Mr Khashoggi, a critic of the Saudi government, vanished on 2 October after visiting its consulate in Istanbul. U.S. President Donald Trump said he would punish Saudi Arabia if it were found responsible for killing him. The authorities in Istanbul believe Mr Khashoggi was murdered in the consulate by Saudi agents, claims Riyadh has dismissed as lies. Britain and the U.S. are considering boycotting a major international conference in Saudi Arabia this month. What is the latest from the Saudis? The source quoted by SPA said, the kingdom affirms its total rejection of any threats or attempts to undermine it whether through threats to impose economic sanctions or the use of political pressure. The kingdom also affirms that it will respond to any action with a bigger one. The Saudi economy has vital and influential roles for the global economy. The Saudis have come under considerable international pressure over the disappearance. Diplomatic sources told the BBC's James Lawndale that both US Treasury Secretary Steve Nutchen and UK International Trade Secretary Liam Fox might not attend next month's investment conference in Riyadh, which has been dubbed Davos in the desert. The event is being hosted by the Kingdom's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman to promote his reform agenda. Several sponsors and media groups have decided to pull out. A joint statement of condemnation. If it is confirmed that Mr Khashoggi was killed by Saudi agents, is also being discussed by US and European diplomats. What has Mr Trump said? The president has said the US will inflict severe punishment if Saudi Arabia is found to be responsible for the death of Mr Khashoggi. He said he would be very upset and angry if that were the case, but ruled out halting big military contracts. I think we'd be punishing ourselves if we did that, he said. If they don't buy it from us, they're going to buy it from Russia or China. Where is the investigation now? Turkish Foreign Minister Mevut Kavasoglu said Saudi Arabia had not so far cooperated with the investigation, despite a statement from Saudi Interior Minister Prince Abdulaziz bin Saud bin Naif bin Abdulaziz saying his nation wanted to uncover the whole truth. Mr. Kavasoglu has urged the kingdom to allow Turkish officials to enter the consulate. Saudi share reaction. On Sunday, stocks on the Dada Al Al shares index plummeted 7% in early trading, wiping out all the gains made this year, before recovering slightly around noon. In two sessions it lost $50 billion, 38 billion pounds, of its $450 billion capitalization. AFP news agency reported. Salah Shamma, of Franklin Templeton Emerging Markets Equity, told Reuters, the market is reacting negatively to sentiment around the Khashoggi case, what is alleged to have happened in Istanbul. A Turkish security source has told the BBC that officials had audio and video evidence proving Mr Khashoggi, who wrote for the Washington Post, was murdered inside the consulate. Reports suggest an assault and struggle took place in the consulate after Mr Khashoggi entered the building to get paperwork for a marriage. Turkish sources allege he was killed by a 15-strong team of Saudi agents. Turkish TV has broadcast CCTV footage of the moment Mr Khashoggi walked into the consulate, 